Yo, what's up guys? It is me, Chris Vanish, and today I have one of those face cam deck profiles. And today we have one of my oldie but a goodie classics, Mystic Mine. This deck is pretty good. You know, Jeff Leonard wins with it, so I can win with it. So let's get right into the deck profile. So for ratios, we have three Silent Wabi. You know, <laughs> card says hand size limit three, and three Planet Pathfinder because it's terraforming. That's it for the monsters, and then for the spells, we have triple Dark Ruler no more. We play it because when they make us go second, it's not bad. Because we want our Mystic Mind to resolve. So then we have the one Terraforming because it's limited. Three Prosperity. I feel like you can play Extravagance if you want, but Prosperity is a guarantee to get the Mystic Mind in essence. So I always play Prosperity over Extravagance and Mystic Mind. Two left arm offering because it adds field barrier. It's self explanatory there. One final countdown, it's a win condition. Two paw duality because I hate drawing duplicate. And I only see two of it per game, anyways. Three demise land because it's three mystic mine and a nutshell, which I really like about that. Three field barrier, it's our way of protecting mystic mine. I don't think you can get anywhere other than that. Uh, two Goddess Schools Oracle, because we gotta get rid of the removal, you know. Two Cauldron, because three is not mathematically correct. You can draw multiples of it, but you probably won't see enough utilities to handle out the Mystic Mine, or even summon the Mystic Mine, aka Planet Pathfinder, or just activate Mystic Mine. Point being said, you gotta get rid of Twin Twisters and Lightning Storms and stuff. And for that same reason, we run two Prohibition. Same thing with... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention Prohibition, but... Prohibition is the thing you use, you know, to get rid of stuff. Ash Blossoms, Twin Twisters. We run two, because like I said, three is mathematically incorrect. And then we run three Mystic Mine. Like, it's the main card of the deck. Without it, your deck is useless, and you're not playing Mystic Mind without it. Play that three because it's Mystic Mind. So then we have one singular uh, Metaverse because it's at one. Three Solemn Judgment because we want our shit to resolve, and three Mystic Mind. Wait, did I say three? Three, three Dark Bribe. I'm editing that one, I think. So, for the extra deck, you run two Ensis, one Omega, and one, not one, but two Pegasus, because Dogmatic Maximus is a card. And then for the Link Monsters, you run double Ningirsu, double Phoenix, mm. Double Reproducus, two Link Spider, and a uh, two Link Rebuild because Lost World is, is just bad. And then we went uh, for the side deck Triple Lancia because Evenly Match sucks. Three Imperm because we don't want our opponent to combo off. Hmm. Three Imperial Iron Wall because evenly match. Three Unending Nightmare because you gotta out the floodgates like Imperial Order or Lost World in some cases. And then three s Forbidden Spell Seal or Forbidden Seal, however it's called. It just gets rid of back rule permanently for that game. So yeah, that's it for the deck profile. I think it's a really good deck. It's pretty toxic, but it'll get you some wins. So shout out to Jeff Leonard and shout out to uh, Chris Smith from the Planet for giving me the inspiration to make this deck. Yeah, this is this is the goo. I mean, you can't really get much out of Mystic Mine except for Mystic Mine. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the deck profile. Uh, if you enjoyed it, be sure to uh, like and subscribe. And as always.
Um, see you later.